Hello folks, Gamer Alon here and welcome to my playthrough of Thimbleweed Park. Thimbleweed Park has an X-Files theme running through it. At least I think it does. The two characters, Ray and Reyes, remind me of Scully and Mulder from the X-Files. And Ratham the Clown reminds me of Beavis from Beavis and Butthead. And there's a whole lot of other goodies in this game. Especially a couple of flashbacks. I don't know which is more harder to get through. The casual mode or the hard mode. Sometimes it seems the casual mode is the hard mode. So without further ado, let's start Thimbleweed Park. So we're going to start a new game. Yes, I already have a game in progress. It'll take you about four hours or maybe a four and a half hours to get to the casual mode knowing what to do casual mode if you are new to adventure games or you're looking for a quicker experience because life is exciting and there is so much to do free tutorial included Hard mode, if you're an experienced adventure gamer and you want all the puzzles because there is nothing more exciting in life than playing adventure games. Notice down at the bottom it says once you choose a mode, you cannot change it without starting a new game. You can play in casual mode then play again in hard mode and see additional puzzles. You know, we're going to start the casual mode first. I'm just tell you how to play right here. It, you, this guy doesn't move. It's moved the arrow. You, know, you can go back on this if you don't want to. This is text above the cursor indicates an interactive object. Like look at key card. Interact with the characters and objects here. Give commands to your characters by selecting verbs. So these are verbs, I guess. Items your character has picked up are here. This is where all the items go that you pick up. Simple commands start with a verb and end with an object or character pick up key card. Complex commands start with a verb, then an object and end with another object or character. Second object, character. Use key card and door. To review or see advanced interaction tips, select options, then help. Nineteen eighty seven. Like what, 30 years ago? Thimbleweed Park, city limits, population 81, elevation 14. Oops, population 80, or pop 80. Part one, the meeting. There's Wayne O' Willie. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. 
This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. Click on open, then click on the gate. And here's your to-do list, I guess. The game gives you a to-do list. Boris, I'm glad you've decided this is the right solution to our problem. There are eyes everywhere, so follow these steps precisely. Okay, one, for your own protection, leave your ID in your hotel room. Two, go to the river down by the Trussell Trailer Bridge. Turn off the light above the Trussell Trailer sign so I know you have arrived. Meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. Make sure you are not followed. That's our task to start. And talk to Willie. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. Must we got a hotel key here. Hotel rooms used to have keys, now they got card keys. I wonder how I can turn off the light to let them know I'm here. Must be something around here that can help. Uh, pick up rock. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. It says click on use, then on rock, then the light. Use rock on light. There, I've completed step three of the note. Now for step four. We completed step three and it checked it off. Now you gotta go to step four. You just go down to this large opening. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. This is going to be a long game. About a four hour long game if you know what you're doing. So one character has a camera. The other one has a film. They're going to give film to Ray. 
And get filmed to Ray. Like I don't have enough to carry already. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. I'm gonna take a picture of the dead body. Smile. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. Uh, the, the victim's key card for his hotel room, 1005. And we got this right here. What else? Look at corpse. There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot. More like a puncture from a sharp object. Which is odd, because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect. Let's open the gate again. Oh, it says here, right click to execute the highlighted verb, which is open. Double click to move quickly to cursor's location. Hold down the left button to get your character following the cursor around. And that's the controls right here. As you can skip cutscene, switch characters, one through five. Five characters in the game. Save control S, load control L. I guess options control O, space bar pause, and skip dialogue period. Pro tip, experiment with your keyboard to find hidden shortcut keys to select verbs. Let's go here and clean up the highway, I guess. You know what you'll find along the highway, a bunch of red hearing objects. We'll pick up the flyer, circus flyer. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? Hey, if the beak fits. We don't know anything about a dead body. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! 
Why brothers, if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. Unlike Sierra's games where they clop you over the head every time you mess up. That's why I like playing LucasArts Adventure games. LucasArts Adventure's gaming motto is to enjoy the game, not to die at every turn till you get it right. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. But it really pays off in the end. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Whack! Beep! Click, click, click! Beep! Squeak! Click, 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 click! Boop! Click, 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 click! Oh, another red herring object. Uh, no, nah, let's turn a dirty stretch of highway into a clean stretch of highway. Oh, what's this? Somebody's watching us. Wait for me. Why? It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park. Call the fully automated Hinttron 3000 at 4468. Hmm. Yeah, you're gonna be calling that number quite a bit. I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> How long were you going to let that body rot in the river? Well, the river is so chock full of chemicals from the old pillow factory. It's better off there than in a tub of formaldehyde. I guess you're here about our little murder Reno out by the bridge. There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at eight. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Areno do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? I don't think so. Howdy who! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who! Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. 
This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right a Reno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Arena? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. But we're as different as peas who's in a pot who Plus, the Sheriff has that annoying Arino he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that a who. Sure. Whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the Pillow Factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pilotronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pilotronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> hey, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017! I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Okay. No, well, that's our to do this right here for Reese to do. The other characters got one too. We're gonna talk to these, huh? The primary function of the Blood Drop 3000 trademark patent pending is to analyze a blood sample and a bloody object to ensure arrest of a suspect. There's <laughs> two plus two. Or procure a swap or other absorbent material and have some blood on it. Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object and I... I mean the blood drawn 3000 trademark will confirm a positive match. Locked off. Dr. Finger Tron 3000. Yes. <laughs> Uh, you're probably gonna hear me laugh quite a bit during this playthrough. The primary function of the Fingertron 3000 trademark is to analyze a fingerprint and find a match in the registry of known criminals and produce a report for the Arrestron 3000 trademark. Patent pending. No, she says. Trademark after 3000. Using official government issue fingerprint tape, 
place it on an object with fingerprints and the fingerprint will be transferred. It's around here somewhere. I'm not going to solve this whole crime for you. You're probably the kind of person that uses a hint guide, aren't you? Not necessarily. Nope. Entering hibernation state. One thousand and seventy miles. <laughs> it's not only a face trying to scientist as well, huh? The primary function of the face trying 3000 trademark is to analyze a photograph of a dead body and compare it with an official photographic ID to provide a positive identification of the victim. Procure an official law enforcement camera, then to use camera with dead body. The Phase 1 3000 trademark requires official government identification that contains a photograph of the victim. I got passport. Sure, whatever. Now well, let's go talk to the corner, I guess, upstairs. The sheriff, that's the one who I was going to talk to. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right, uh, sorry Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer a Reno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. The Arrestron 3000 trademark as primary function is to take reports from the Blood Tron 3000 trademark, the Finger Tron 3000 trademark, and the Face Tron 3000 trademark, and issue an arrest warrant for the obviously guilty suspect. After the Arrestron 3000 trademark generates the arrest warrant, the scumbag criminal is arrested, jailed, and toils away making license plates with little chance of release. The job of the detective, agent, or law enforcement personnel is done. The Blood Drawn 3000 trademark, the Finger Drawn 3000 trademark, and the Face Drawn 3000 trademark 
could be found in the coroner's office and possess the same sophisticated speech and AI processing as the arrest drawn 3000, trademark, other drawing machines, the product of the amazing genius Jack Hedmond, could be found around town and are here to serve. Close program. Oh, folks, I'm going to end gameplay right here in the next video. We're going to go talk to the Pigeon Brothers or Sisters. So this is Gamer Lawn signing out saying thanks for watching and take care, folks. Bye. I'll catch you next time.